So as tempting as it is to grab the tools and go work on like the most desirable part of the trail first, the whole point of doing anything here is to reduce the impacts of runoff. This here is pretty much the top of that entire grade that I walked up and there's a lot of water coming down here. So there's really no point in doing work down below until you've come up with a solution right here at the top where there's obviously a lot of water they're here and i can see exactly where i need to nick it and this will nip so much water off the trail that because here it's just i can see just following the gouge it just starts here and it just keeps flowing look at that the water just goes right over that doesn't even slow down. And you having a 12 inch high roller, the water was just gushing over top of those things. So they need to be proper, proper nicks ahead of them. But here will reduce a large volume of water from ever even reaching the lower tiers. So starting here is the wise choice. I definitely want to get this right because I do not want to mess up the flow here. I can knock out like from here perhaps and just shave this off all through from here to like this plant because I'll leave that vine. So like to right here and just shave that and that becomes the neck. And so you come out of that curve transition into a taper because I'm going to taper it so curve to taper and the taper from just the other side of that plant and across and just shave it maybe six inches just shave it six inches and taper it and bring that soil over to that tree and um, all this extra dirt I will transfer over there to make that tree roller a little more smoother. All that dirt will come in useful here just to cover this up. That'll be awesome. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm up here this afternoon to check on the work that I did by at the very top here of the grade to see how it did fare it after our heaviest rain of the winter yet of the season. And it looks like job well done. 